Hey guys, um, been probably five or six days in in Japan now. So, and I got my own apartment. And spent spent a night here. Spent a night here yesterday. So, thought I might show you. Well, g g give you the tour. Um, this is pretty much uh, front door. Um, I think this is a letterbox here. I haven't haven't got any mail yet. Cool thing is you've got this um, Japanese style section section here where you put your shoes. Uh, that way, you know. The floor doesn't get dirty. Um, I heard from one of the other guys. Actually, very rare, very rare to um, to mop mop the floor because it never never really gets never really gets dirty because you don't bring your shoes in. Um, just sweep. Anyway, so my front door. Um, these are light switches and these are power points. Pretty nifty. And there's power points everywhere. It's... Anyway. <laughs> um, so this is a bathroom. Um, still getting used to it. <laughs> um, it's it's so deep compared to like a western a western bath, but it's not it's not as long. So I suppose give and take. Um, it's all it's all electric as well. To actually turn on hot water, you have to hit this, which I found out after some trial and error. <laughs> Um, yeah, you have to hit that and then it, then it starts, starts heating up. You can hear, you can hear like the generator kick in. Um, so that's the bathroom. Don't you love the sound of footsteps on, on the wood? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know, knickknacks, toothpaste and that sort of other, other bathroom jazz. Um, Toilets in there. This is like the living room slash kitchen. Not really much in the fridge yet. Uh, they gave and and the cool thing is the company hooked me up with not only the apartment but pretty much everything everything you see in here. I mean the fridge, the microwave, um, all of the cutlery and and whatnot that I have, um, plates and cups and things, the frying pans, the gas heater all provided. Um, I've spent, I think, I mean, since I moved into the apartment, I spent maybe $30, $30 on things. Um, the cupboard space isn't, um, isn't huge, but for myself, it's all right. See how huge the sink is as well. I noticed that's another trend here. All the sinks are just, just huge compared to, compared to back home. Um, gave me a washing machine, um, that's a, a table, I have to put that together later, I didn't have time, didn't have time yesterday, um, that's actually a couch with cushions, haven't had the chance to put that together either, TV, um, yeah, um, one of the other teachers as well hooked me up with some, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff like books, um, other Australian icons, you can probably see a boomerang in there, um, <laughs> And um, you know rice cookers and irons and things like that. I should have probably prepared this, <laughs> but uh, yeah, w one of the coolest things is actually the slide doors. And this is the bedroom. Um, you might be wondering where the bed is. Until June or so, they've hooked me up with a. Um, Japanese style bed, which which is just like a mattress that folds out onto the floor, uh, futon, and when you're done with it, you put it away. And then the room's clean again. It's a bit empty, but I mean, day two, give it a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's um, pretty much it for now. I. Uh, I start work at 9.30, it's only like 7.45 or something right now, so I've got some time to kill, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch you later.